a miracle. That's how authorities are describing this rescue of a construction worker pinned underneath thousands of pounds of dirt without getting hurt. This happened in the West Valley this morning at a pit near Luke Air Force Base. So here, take a look at this photo. This gives you a little perspective how deep this is. 30 feet. You can see the rural metro guys, and they do a great job, but they were somewhat helpless in this particular rescue because they were using this enormous cat and earth mover to dig in and try to get this guy out. He's about four to five stories deep, covered in dirt. Now, taking a look at the second photo, it shows exactly where he was trapped. And you can see they had to, he's right here. You can see just the edge, make out the edge of the front end loader that he was in that was covered, fortunately, and that saved him. Fox 10's Lauren Clark joins us live with the incredible story. Lauren, fire crews are crediting his survival to what? Well, John, as you mentioned, unbelievable story. And they say this man is alive today because of a stroke of luck and thanks to the work of his co-workers. Unbelievable circumstances leading to an unbelievable rescue. I can't only imagine, uh, obviously, being pinned under approximately two to three stories worth of dirt, thousands of pounds of dirt on top of that apparatus. That's what Sean Gilland with the Rural Metro Fire Department said happened Thursday off El Mirage Road around 9.30 in the morning. A worker was in his front loader, similar to this one. Fire crews say he was digging out materials when the unthinkable happened. The trenches collapsed. The trenches are approximately probably five to six stories deep. As that worker now found found himself trapped below two to three stories of dirt. Although he was protected inside the front seat bubble of his equipment, his co-workers say crews were in a race against the clock as his oxygen was possibly running out. We didn't know at the time when all the dirt's on top of him until, we, until they got down to him how much air, how much time he may have left in that cab. Co-workers then used an excavator you can see here to try to dig him out in a high-pressure rescue. Extremely um, risky. Obviously, you have still a lot of dirt above them in that trench, and it's all unstable. Sean says as his co-workers dug him out, the worker was able to communicate discovering he wasn't hurt aside from being covered with dirt from the waist down. Images captured from Sky Fox appear to show the puffs of dirt to free his legs. He was later pulled out and unbelievably, miraculously, was okay. To say there is a miracle that worked there, yes. Yeah, and I really want to hammer home just how lucky this man was. So I mentioned he was covered from the waist down with dirt. That's because when he was in his front loader, the window broke and that dirt came in and Cruz was really telling me that he is so lucky that that dirt didn't completely cover him because John and Christina, we'd have a completely different story if that is the case. What a remarkable rescue. What um, truly is a miracle. Reporting live, Lauren Clark, Fox 10.